Willie Jenkins. I am a journalist, a broadcaster, uh, concerts and festivals artistic director. I'm on the board of Jen. I've been on the board of Jen now for, oh, I think 18 months. Well, what's happening with Jen is building a constituency and building programmatically and developing the organization, a gathering of the jazz tribes, I guess you could say. It's a, it's, it, people look forward to the opportunity to have at least that once a year hang where they can catch up with old friends and colleagues, find out what's happening in business, and that kind of thing. So if Jen functions for nothing more than that, it will be a success to a certain extent, but we want to go beyond that. These types of events are important because so many of this is a huge country, first off, and a huge world, because we are talking internationally. There are people here from other parts of the world. I just ran into some South Africans a little while ago. And because it is so huge, and because we are so somewhat isolated in some cases, not all of us live in New York. You know, those of us who live in New York, we have a critical mass of people who, who are in love with the music and who work in business aspects of the music. But those of us who don't live in New York, as you well know, we need those opportunities to uh, brainstorm with our peers in the music and just to get a better sense of what's going on in other parts of the country and perhaps take those good ideas and bring them to our own community. Classic example, uh, just saw the Columbus Jazz Orchestra a little while ago, put on a terrific performance. Columbus Jazz Orchestra is about to celebrate its 40th anniversary. And the whole idea of the Columbus Jazz Orchestra as their artistic director Byron Stripling alluded to, part of their the whole philosophy is to spread that kind of, uh, I guess you could call it community jazz orchestra idea to other communities around the country. I mean, every city that has a fair amount of capable musicians could certainly put together that kind of operation where they have a community-based jazz orchestra that presents concert series just like cities of any size all have a symphony orchestra of some kind. We could have the same thing representative of this music. And so this conference opportunity is a chance for people to speak with other folks around the country, to hear about what's going on, to catch up, and, and to learn good things to take back to their community, to their little pockets of activities, to their university, their jazz program at their college or university or their high school, and uh, uh, refresh, renew, and elevate what they do in their communities. I think that's one of the, 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 the more salient points of this whole endeavor. You know, for a kid, who plays in a band, who comes to this thing, I have seen on so many occasions how excited kids can get. For one thing, they get an opportunity to see other kids uh, their age or maybe just a little bit older or a little bit more advanced. They get to see them and meet and interact with them and see what they're doing and perhaps be inspired by what they hear when they hear the professionals they get an opportunity to hear professionals whom they've only heard, uh, you know, I would say on records or on CDs, but in, in their case, in some of the young kids' case, probably people they've only heard on their iPods, you know, and uh, or online, uh, you know, people like Victor Wooten, okay? And Victor Wooten is adored by young people, and uh, he's here live, and he's got a booth here live, and he's 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 he's, he's like a Pied Piper. And for these young kids to get a chance to see people like that, I think is very valuable.